Good afternoon. My name is Michelle Huff. I am a circuit judge in the 3rd Judicial District. I've been a circuit judge now for a little over two years. I practiced law for 25 years prior to becoming judge, and I did practice in the area of domestic relations, and that is primarily what I handle now. I'm here on behalf of the Arkansas Judicial Council and on behalf of myself to oppose this bill. Uh, everyone's already talked about the standard. I want to talk to you about practical points, and I'm going to tell you what I do. Now, I am a brand new, not brand new, but I'm a new judge, and I can tell you that this is currently the law. I don't see any reason to change it. When people walk into my courtroom, and it's a contested custody case, I always ask them, the law says the joint custody is favored in Arkansas. Why shouldn't I grant joint custody here? And usually I will get a, the parties live 150 miles apart. They live in separate school districts, or they'll tell me I'll hear it later and we'll get into it. When I have a temporary case, when the parties live in the same school district, almost every time I will grant temporary joint custody. Then I get to see how they're getting along when we get to the final. That is the law. So it's hard for me to imagine that judges are just ignoring that. If you have a case with a good, where you have two good involved parents, that's what you're going to do if it's at all possible. But one thing that I always asked in my practice before when someone came in and wanted it is why do you want it? Because the devil's always in the details. Is it that you want more time? Sometimes it wasn't really about time. The person wanted to not pay child support. And we spent a lot of effort and a lot of time creating the new Administrative Order 10, which is fabulous. It takes into account both parents' incomes. But it says that if both parents have 147 nights or more, then the child support goes down. And I am terribly worried about the disparate impact on, on um, low wage earners, and which is primarily a lot of times going to be women and the impact it's going to have on the children. Um, also, uh, control. Control, sometimes it's not really about time with the children. It's about control. Believe it or not, I've seen cases where it's my week and it's prom and you can't come over and take pictures. It's my week and I'm going to do this and you can't come. The problem is we're going to be doing this in the initial determination, and I would argue that it's going to create more litigation, because then when they can't get along, then they're going to have to come back. Uh, I want ADHD medicine in my week. Well, I don't. So there are, there's a huge can of worms. Paternity. I've got a brand new six-week-old baby born to a 19-year-old mother and a 20-year-old father that are not married. Joint custody. Joint custody is the presumption, so uh, paternal grandma and dad want to have that kid every other week. I mean, I've got them fussing now, not wanting to go because they're breastfeeding. Sorry, honey, daddy's going to visit that kid, get a breast pump. That's just the way it is. And I know, the first six cases I had, I ruled in favor of the father. And I got worried that that was going to be a problem. But I can't look at everything, I have to look at what's in front of me. That's what we get paid to do, judge is judge. When I went to Reno, uh, a couple of years ago, we were given a book. You are no longer a lawyer, you are a judge. And one thing really hit me in that book. This uh, retired judge said, if you handle domestic relations cases, remember, don't split the baby. It's not fair to the baby. And that is the only thing that matters. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard from a parent, but it's not fair, it's not fair. I need, I'm supposed to get 50%. It's about getting 50%, not about what's best for the child. Do you want to go every other week and pack up and go to somebody else's house and stay that week and come back, or every two days, every three days? Some kids do, and if they're teenagers, that's different. If it's a two-year-old and a four-year-old, they need more structure. But if you put this in place, that's what we're going to be bound with, even in paternity. And remember, sometimes we've got cases where people have never been married and they've been separated for five years, and then it comes to your court. Your time is com completed. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for your